so Tommy was 11 when he died. He had a range of complex medical conditions. They told us that children with these conditions do not live very long and um, we were told he would have six months to a year and advised that we took him home and made memories. And then in the December of 2020, um, he was diagnosed with osteosarcoma in his right femur. And um, that was, that we knew that that was the end really for us and for him. And uh, it was devastating. So it was Christmas day and uh, he suddenly had um, a big choking fit and got oxygen on him and everything. Everybody's panicking and crying around us room. It dawned on me very quickly that this now was beyond our capabilities and we needed help. An ambulance turned up at eight o'clock and took Tom and his dad, Tim, off to visit Treehouse. And myself and my other two boys followed in the van, packed with all our belongings. I don't think my head was really thinking straight. It wasn't until the, the following week that it became fairly obvious that we wouldn't be going home with him. So, and it was, it was heartbreaking. Just generally heartbreaking, just watching him slowly. Um, disappear. They did everything. You just felt you were being taken care of. Um, if I felt very weepy, which was most days, somebody was there to put an arm around you. It was just like kind of going home and your mum, you know, your mum takes care of you. And But that was like that, but you had a lot of mums taking care of you. I could never thank them enough for everything they did for us. And um, each has to continue and we have to keep raising money for this because you never know if you or somebody you love will be in the situation we were. <laughs> but he was just a beautiful boy and when you were around him he just oozed love. He just did. That's all he wanted in life was to be loved and to give you his love. And, uh, and when I think of Tommy that's what I think of and that's love. <laughs> <laughs>